Welcome back to our math class. Today, we will have more practice on dividing decimal numbers. But first, let's have a short recall on how to divide decimal numbers. In dividing a decimal number by a whole number, we divide the dividend and the divisor. Then, we add zeros to the dividend and continue dividing until there is no remainder. Lastly, we put the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. And in dividing a number by a decimal number, we change first the divisor into a whole number by moving its decimal point to the right of the last digit. Then, we move the decimal point of the dividend as many times as the number of move in the divisor. Afterwards, we divide the dividend and the divisor. Then, we add zeros to the dividend and continue dividing until there is no remainder. And lastly, we put the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. Now, let's try to follow these steps in our following examples. First, what is the value of n in the equation 4.5 divided by 0.2 equals n? Let's have our solution here. Our dividend is 4.5 and our divisor is 0.2. Following the steps we recalled earlier, We'll make our divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right of the last digit. Since we moved once to the right in our divisor, we will do the same in our dividend. So we move once as well to the right. Now our new numbers are 45 and 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Then we subtract. That will be 0, so we bring down 5. 5 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. Then we'll have a remainder 1. Since we have a remainder 1, that means we need to add 0 to our dividend. But since our dividend is a whole number, let us not forget to add first the decimal point before adding 0 for us not to change the value of our dividend. Now, let's bring down this 0. 10 divided by 2 will give us 5, and 5 times 2 is equal to 10. We no longer have a remainder, so there's no need for us to add more 0. And for the last step, we will just copy this decimal point in our quotient. Okay, so again, we will align the decimal point in the dividend to our quotient. So our final answer now will be 4.5 divided by 0 0.2 is equal to 22.5. Next, what is the quotient of 0 0.39 and 0 0.13? So again, we have here dividing decimal by a decimal number as well. Okay, so we'll just do the same steps we did earlier. Okay. So in here, we'll move twice to the right. So in our dividend, we will also move twice to the right. So our new numbers now are 39 and 13. 39 divided by 13 is 3, and 3 times 13 is equal to 39. Okay, so there's no remainder here, and there's no more digit to bring down, so 3 is already our final answer. Therefore, 0 0.39 divided by 0 0.13 is equal to a whole number 3. Third example. What is 1.8 divided by 0 0.8? So again, we have a decimal number divided by a decimal number. So same steps will be followed, just like what we did in the previous examples. So we'll have to move this one once to the right, and we also do the same in our dividend. So our new numbers now are 18 and 8. 18 divided by 8 is 2. 2 times 8 is 16, and we'll have a remainder 2. Since we have a remainder 2, we add point 0 in our dividend, then bring down this 0 here. 20 divided by 8 is another 2, and 2 times 8 is 16. 20 minus 16 is 4. Okay, so we add another 0 and bring it down again. 40 divided by 8 is 5, and 5 times 8 is 40. 40 minus 40 is 0. Since there's no more remainder, we will no longer add 0 in our dividend. So for the final step, we copy this decimal point in our quotient. So we will have 1.8 divided by 0 0.8 is equal to 2.25. Next one, 
what is 1.25 divided by 0 0.05. So let's solve 1.25 divided by 0 0.05. For us to make the divisor a whole number, we need to move twice to the right. So in our dividend, we'll also move the decimal point twice to the right. So our new numbers now are 125 and 5. 12 divided by 5 is 2 and 2 times 5 is 10. 12 minus 10 is 2, then we bring down 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5 and 5 times 5 is 25. So we no longer have here a remainder and a digit to bring down. So our final answer is 25. Therefore, 1.25 divided by 0 0.05 is equal to 25. And for our last example, what is 17.1 divided by 0 0.25? Again, let's solve here. We have 17.1 divided by 0 0.25. For us to make our device our whole number, we need to move the decimal point twice to the right. So we'll also do the same in our dividend. We will move the decimal point twice to the right. Since there's no digit here, we will add a placeholder 0. So our new numbers now are 1710 and 25. Now let's solve. 171 divided by 25 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 3, that's 15. Then 1 minus 0 is 1. 7 minus 5 is 2. And 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay. Then we bring down the next digit. 210 divided by 25 is equal to 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 4, that's 20. Then 210 minus 200 is equal to 10. Okay, we have here a remainder. That means we need to add a decimal point and 0 in our dividend. Okay, so then we bring down that 0. 100 divided by 25 will give us 4. And 4 times 25 is 100. 100 minus 100 is 0. Since there's no more remainder, again, we will no longer add 0 in our dividend. So for the final step, we just simply align this decimal point in the dividend to our quotient. So we will have 17.1 divided by 0 0.25 is equal to 68.4. And that's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for listening.